Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know by now, my name is Angel Lanise, and on this channel, we just talk about healing, love, and all things positive. So, get you whatever you need to get a snack, a drink, and a, let's get into this video. Hey Y'all, I'm back. Um, listen, I'm tired today. I just got off of work, and I didn't post a YouTube video yesterday. <laughs> And I already had out what I wanted to make this a new video about. I've just been working. <laughs> so this video is literally coming from the heart. I'm gonna be real and raw with y'all. This topic, I'm still working on. And as you can tell by the title, today we're gonna be talking about forgiveness and how to forgive and why it's so hard to forgive. If you're new to my channel, hello. Like, share, subscribe. Share this video with someone who may need to hear this message. I always feel like someone needs to hear some type of positive message at some point. Let's get right into it. You know I don't like for my videos to be long and drawn out. Learning to forgive. Like I said, I'm going to be real and wrong with y'all. I'm still working on this, okay? I mean, if you know me personally, you know that I lost my mom at a young age to domestic violence, which I'm comfortable with talking about now. I don't want to get into the details on the internet. You know me personally. Personally, I've talked about it. I have learned to forgive that person. It's been hard. It's a journey. It takes a lot of healing, a lot of crying, a lot of coming home to self to forgive someone for that. And I think the older I get, the more easier it does become. But I am still working on it. I am still learning how to forgive. I've gotten better, <laughs> which is why I'm able to post this video because I feel like I can give tips on how to forgive if you're a grudge holder. The first thing I'm gonna say is that you need to forgive not only yes for yourself, but you do not want to buy blessings because you are still holding on to something that's happened to you years ago when this person ain't even thinking about it. I know saying, oh, you know, forgive them is easier said than done. I know y'all have heard, you know, just because you forgive them doesn't mean you have to forget. And that is so true. It's 100% true. Just because you forgive that person does not mean that you have to forget what they did to you. If you decide to forgive that person, for whatever and this doesn't have to be for anything like that's as traumatic as to you know like what happened to me it could be relationship wise friendship wise you decide to forgive that person and still be friends with them at least you know how far to take it with them and sometimes you know you just have to love people from a distance that's okay you know like we're human nobody's perfect but y'all already know how i roam I got my notes and what I have written down is um, to accept that this has happened to you not that it was okay but that it did happen basically what that's saying is that you do not have to be like oh yeah you ain't cheated on me but that's okay you don't have to be like that feel the feelings be honest that mf -er cheated on you and you're you know you're hurt you're pissed and that is okay we feel emotions we're supposed to we are emotional beings like you do not have to act tough and hard all the time or suppress feelings and i know that that can be hard depending on your childhood and your upbringing just because it happened to you does not mean that that is who you are okay and that's just point blank period straight to the point second thing that I have written down is that it takes the same amount of energy to hate someone as it does to love them this person is like they've done what they've done to you for instance you know say if you got out of a toxic relationship right this person has done what they've did to you and they're living life and like larry they ain't thinking about you or how you feel or whatever they're still dealing with the pain and the anger and the trauma they're still dealing with all those negative feelings, you're still holding on to what that person did to you. You're blocking your blessings. 
after not making it open for new people to come in and love you correctly, you are still holding on to that hurt and that pain. And the same energy that it takes to love someone, so the same energy that you are putting into being with that person and loving that person, you're still putting that same energy while you're hating them and holding resentment towards them as you was when you were loving them. And it's like, why are you doing that? What about you? You know what I'm saying? That person's living happy and go lucky and free and you're still over here, you know, like, no, we're not doing that. Let, listen, <laughs> do not give any extra energy to something that does not need it, okay? Okay. Third thing that I have written down is to think about how that person became who they are. We are all human and we come from something slash somewhere. Not to give them sympathy for the wrong action, but to try to understand no one is 100% perfect. You have been a villain in someone's story, whether you know it or not. Whether you want to accept it or not, you have. Could have harmlessly been someone's villain in their story. Like I said, harmless, you didn't mean any harm. I don't know if you've heard this saying, and you may have, you may have not. I can't remember where I heard it from, but you know, it basically said, hurt people hurt people. I think that is so true. And I, you know, just started to think deeper into that statement like, you know what? You're right hurt people do hurt people because they don't know how to love they don't know how to be gentle just not cause pain to someone i dated somebody who just grew up just traumatized all their childhood and i had to constantly tell them you know like i'm not your enemy i'm on your side i had to constantly tell them that because sometimes it would get to the point where it felt like they were actually coming at me like i their enemy and I'm like no I'm your girlfriend like <laughs> I'm on your side so I have to think about where people come from sometimes they honestly can't help it and you know being grown you're like well they can they can get therapy and they can get help therapy is expensive someone has never even been taught or shown how to heal how would they even know to do it you know what I'm saying somebody's 100% perfect you are 100% perfect I'm not 100% perfect we just honestly have to digest that and just let it be just let it be now, this fourth thing is basically what I was saying before you know about holding on to negative energy you have to learn to let go not only to free yourself but your mind and the longer you hold on, the longer it will take for you to heal and to evolve. What do you gain from holding on to that negative energy? You don't gain anything but hurt and more tears and more sleepless nights. Being mean and irritable to other people, <laughs> and it has nothing to do with them, it's just because you're bitter. I've met so many girls that are just bitter. Why do you want to be bitter and mean? Why? Kill. Like, pretty girls are not mean. Pretty girls are not bitter. Why? Why? Let it go. You're not going to gain anything from it. Again, you do not want to ruin the chances of meeting a friend that's actually good for you and wants to be your friend and wants to get to know you and wants to hang out with you because you're bitter or missing someone that actually wants to be with you and treat you right and treat you right because you're bitter you know we don't want to do that we don't want to block blessings we want peace we want tranquility we want to wake up and go to sleep every night knowing like i love me i love who i am i love the people who love me and i'm good so another thing that i have here is to try to look beyond what that person did to you and try to figure out why it happened what lesson could you learn from what happened most of the time god and the universe will send us tests we'll be like oh my gosh why is this happening to me you know what i'm saying sometimes we don't realize that you know that we are being tested a lot of times we don't even realize that we're trying the universe may be trying to teach us a lesson and prepare us you know what i'm saying for the hardships of the future not to scare you but to prepare you i wouldn't look at that when you're trying to forgive someone don't look at the situation 
as like, oh my gosh, that person was so horrible, F them, they did this to me. You can simply say, this person did this to me, which was wrong, but I under, you know, this is what I've learned from that situation and just let it be release it do not hold on to anything don't hold grudges grudges sound horrible the word sounds horrible and it feels horrible learn to let things go and release them back out into the universe if you need to meditate you need to pray if you like to pray you need to journal if you need to burn sage whatever you need to do do it okay you will feel better and I was listening to a TED talk and the girl was like, one of the main things people don't understand about forgiving is that you can't forgive that person for the action. Whether that person lied to you, stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, whatever they did, you can't forgive them for the action, but you can forgive them for how it made you feel, for the pain that they took you through. It's like, damn, I can't forgive you for the wrongdoing that you did because I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do that to someone, but I can forgive you for how you made me feel. I can forgive you for that. That's just basically what I have been going by. Now, granted, there's everyday trigger. We work can trigger us. Environment can trigger us. Who we hang around can trigger us. And piss us off. Little things can piss you off. But in order for you to protect your energy, you have got to literally cleanse your mind from if you leave from a friend's house and they had bad ass energy over there or they said something that was really fucking mean use my language but they said something that was sideways and you didn't even say anything you just was like you know what i'm gonna go it was nice chilling with you bye cleanse your mind when you get out of there come and meditate and pray take you a nice long shower and get all that negative energy off of you we're not holding grudges no more for the rest of 2023 okay coming in healed we're coming in peaceful got time for that let them be negative you move on with your life it's okay to forgive forgiveness can be hard especially when you have people around you um that don't know how to forgive if you have you know parents that have grown up on well they did what they did to me and i cut them off you know whatever it is going to be hard to learn how to forgive people forgiving sometimes can give off the vibe as like weakness when you're not being weak you're protecting yourself people who are if you look at um Heinz, he's a YouTuber, check him out, super chill. Look at his YouTube videos, listen to how he talks, his posture, how chill he is. I bet you 100% that man is not holding on to anything that has ever happened to him. And you can just tell when you come across someone and they're at peace with themselves. And I want that for myself and I want that for you and everybody else, which is why I decided to do this video today. That's pretty much all I have for you all. Like I said, I didn't want this to be long. I hope that this message gets out to the people who need to hear it because it's super important. Like this video, <laughs> comment, share your thoughts on what we talked about today. Share my video. It was so nice to check in with you guys. I will be back with another video soon. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. Thank you.